So after thinking about it overnight, I think pushing it back to the next cycle is the right thing to do. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty. Hey fam, good morning. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, September 28th. Where is the year going? You see, I'm out with the early birds. They're getting the worm. I'm getting my workout on. I hope that you are doing well. I can't believe this is it. This is the last Friday of September. The year is almost gone. Um, yeah, next month is my YouTube anniversary. I'm trying to get to 2000 by my anniversary. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button and hanging out with us. Become a part of the fam. You're welcome. Everybody is welcome here. All right, I will talk to you in a bit. I'm home. I finished my exercise. I've just packed up my lunch for the day. I'm doing chicken breast, lettuce, uh, lettuce wrap. So. Roasted garlic, spicy, no. What's up, busy bees? What's up, busy bees? All right, I'm back. I've just packed my lunch and I'm in a hurry and talking crazy. Okay, so for lunch I'm doing grilled chicken breast in a lettuce wrap. I have roasted some cauliflower and seasoned it really spicy. I've got my spicy salsa. I have my tomato. And then for breakfast, I'm doing the same thing, the soft boiled eggs with the chia pudding. I've got blueberry topping and granola. And I just wanted to show you guys these cute lettuce boats. Um, they come already washed and prepped and you just, there's a very large amount. You just put your food in there and have it instead of the carbs. So I'm loving these. And I don't know, this just fell out. The only thing is, Doing your mood, your food prep on an empty stomach is a little rough. Like I'm in fasting, I can't eat until one. I wanna like nibble on stuff and I can't, but anyway, tomorrow's weigh-in day, so we're gonna stay strong. Talk to you later. Hey fam, how are you? All right, I am on my way to work finally. It is 11.30, I'm running super late. And no, it was not to cut avocados. Um, I did let my manager know that I'd be there later in the day. Um, I did a little work from home, so it's not that big of a deal. But the reason that I'm running late is my heart is heavy. And I was going to try to push through it, but that is how things pop up in inappropriate places. When we stuff them down, at least when I stuff them down, it pops up in inappropriate places. And so I need to acknowledge like what is going on with me. And I think it started yesterday when I got the call from Katrina, the nurse in Dr. McConnell's office, that I might possibly not be able to start until next cycle. And I started to panic. Good morning. And so I thought, why am I panicking? What is that fear? What's going on? And my initial instinct was, well, I'm panicking because they might be pushing it back. It's more stuff out of my control. Ego, right? It's all story. It is all in my control. It will happen. I have to believe in that. And I said that to myself yesterday, like I recognized that something was going out of control, but then I continued feeling anxious about it. So that wasn't, that didn't resolve the issue, at least in my head and in my heart. So after thinking about it overnight, I think pushing it back to the next cycle is the right thing to do. I think that gives me more time to continue exercising. And it also gives me more time mentally to prepare, um, get my body ready, like physically, as far as what I'm eating, taking care of myself, in addition to the exercise, getting closer to my BMI. Because you ladies who've already been through IVF at least one round have said, I'm gonna gain weight when I take the meds. So the weight loss that I've had now is not significant enough to really offset that. So I'm not going to be anywhere near that ideal BMI of 22. And so why am I trying to rush it? Like what is the fear? What is the panic? Deal with that and not just barrel through it. Because I wanna do it, but I wanna do it with the greatest chance of success. Does that make sense? 
And I thought about it and I was like, are you pushing it back because you're afraid to move forward? And I just, I really think it's the right thing to do. So I think I am going to call Katrina and let her know that that's what I want to do. And we'll take it from there. And that way it also takes away like that victim-y feeling of things are just happening to me and I have no control. It's windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna cup it and see. But yeah, I think I'm going to call her, or not, I think I am going to call her and tell her, let's give it one more cycle. So let's not start the priming this Friday, a week from today. Let's do it in four weeks. I think that makes the most sense. I think financially that makes the most sense. I think mentally that makes the most sense physically and preparing for it that is what makes the most sense and so that's what I'm going to do and then we'll just work out you know for four more weeks and I also want to start my acupuncture practice again I was just watching Phil and Alex which is why I was like I, I gotta talk to the family um, she's going back to acupuncture and that's another thing that I was really diligent about when I was doing my IUIs and I haven't gone back um, I had the one scheduled and I came back from Maine and then I was just swamped at work. So I need to get that in again. Like that's important to me. I felt really good physically when I was doing it. And so I probably will go back in like two weeks, I think. Um, and then once I start the stimming, I'll go as well. So I think that's the plan. I, like I said, I'm going to talk to the nurse and talk through it and just make sure we're all in agreement. But that's what she had proposed anyway, and I was pushing. And I, I think, I think I'm wrong to push. I think that was a feeling of fear that had me pushing. And I want to come from a place of strength. I'm claiming it. I'm going to get pregnant, so I don't need to rush it. And it will still be in 2018. Not that 2018 has to be the year. One of the driving forces, or I will be honest, is that I've spent so much money on medical expenses this year. I've already paid my deductible. So to start something in January is like starting at zero and I'd have to pay more out of pocket. So that is one of the factors. I'm paying out of pocket anyway for my retrieval and transfer. But then as far as like taxes and all that stuff, I know it's crazy, but that's a real thing and it makes a difference from December to January. So that's one of the factors, but it won't be the deciding factor. Um, but I would be foolish not to consider it at all. And so that is one of the factors on the list. But I think pushing it back one month still keeps me within the 2018 time range and the benefits of doing it in 2018, but it also increases my chance to improve my physical well-being and uh, just be in the best place that I can be when I start these meds and look back with no regrets. So that's my update. That is why my heart was heavy. I feel better. I'm glad I have you guys to talk to. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully I have your support. I've appreciated your support all along. Ultimately, it's I gotta do what's in my heart, but I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, when this video posts, I may or may not be getting my blood work done and the ultrasound. So, because it'll come out on the 5th, which is when I'm meant to be at the doctor's office. So, when you're watching this, I'm probably sitting there now. But let me know what your thoughts are. If that makes sense, um, if that is, I don't know, just let me know like what your thoughts are because I'm, my heart was heavy with it. And, and even just saying it, I feel lighter already, which further confirms like it's the right thing to do. It would be nice if I had a support group and I could get immediate feedback, but I appreciate your feedback. Whenever you get to this, um, as always, I value your opinion and appreciate you being on this journey with me. <laughs> okay. I'm through the turnstile, but yeah, that's it. I won't keep you guys. I just wanted to come on and <sighs> lighten my load. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I am just leaving yoga. I'm gonna go home, pack up, and head up to Blues. Um, I was gonna do another walk tonight, but I think I'm not gonna do that. I am just gonna get up early, and he and I are gonna go to the farmer's market. I need more pickles. 
and do a walk then. But tomorrow's picture day, weigh-in day, all that fun stuff. All right, I'm gonna sign off for the night. I hope you had a great day, and um, I will see you next week in the Monday vlog. Bye. Mwah. Baby does to you all. The raindrops fall, and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind